Good morning guys and welcome to a beautiful day. I'm headed down to the horses and Sam. Once they find all my stuff, the girls are getting ready. And before we start today's video, I want you guys to just close your eyes for one second and think about all the things that you do have and how grateful you are for them and how happy that the things that you do have make you. Because even I fall into that trap where I'm always looking for something new, something different, and I just want to take a minute to say thank you God for everything that we have, for where we are, because I am truly happy in my heart, and I want all of you guys to be happy too. All right, Gabby, are you ready? Are you ready for this day? Are you excited for this day? Yes. Are you nervous? No. I'm not nervous either. Are you nervous, Ruby? All right, I'm headed out to the barn. I'll see you oh, there. Wait. Ruby loves me <laughs> yes she does yes. I'm glad you didn't forget the last part because that was a hard one see you down at the bar I'm running out of time every day goes by so fast and every moment counts baby I don't want to miss a thing it is drying out and Sam has got our first strip almost ready we have to buy more wire wow it looks like wild like wilderness out here uh, so there's our first poles and then he'll have this pole here and this is where the boys will come each morning while they get acclimatized to the grass and see their poles up there too I don't know if you can see this is the boys new paddock we just need to get more electric fence I'm excited for them the girls are gonna bring the boys out here every morning and uh, hold them until we get the rope which hopefully we can get it today and let them eat for 30 minutes each day while I like start mucking stalls and stuff. It is starting to dry up again, you guys. The vet comes in six days, I think. And I want this all to be uh, dried. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars, or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars, under the stars. Okay, so you guys are waiting to figure out what the heck is happening. Do you guys remember when Fiona closed her barn? That amazing barn, that family environment with all the kids. We were all kind of doing the same thing, learning and growing, and our horses all stayed there. Well, when Fiona closed her barn, it was devastating to us. I honestly felt so lost at that time, not knowing where we were going to take our horses, not having a place to take our horses, and then we found our last barn, which was beautiful and amazing, and Storm loved that barn. But there were some things that it did not have that we really needed, like it did not have a lesson program, um, it did not have instructors, you had to bring in your own instructor. It was beautiful and had state-of-the-art everything. but. It was a professional barn with a lot of adults and we were really a lot on a different page than what most of those people were on and I never really felt like I fit there like I always felt bad that my kids would be riding with the adult women and somehow hindering their ride because we weren't as experienced as them and so many of you guys kept saying ride a lesson horse but there were never any lesson horses to ride well today all of that is going to change we have some crazy exciting news that's going to change how we do things change everything uh, for me and for the girls and i cannot wait to show you guys but first i need to clean up all this poop gabby is going to take the boys to eat grass Close. Crap. Finn, here, you want me to hold Storm? That was rude, Finn. I was distracted and oh God, this is not gonna be good. All right, so yeah, silly boy. Storm's like, yeah, I don't know any of the rules here. Storm is gonna... Finn, don't you wanna go eat grass? You're gonna love this. Yeah, if he wants to run, here, close this door. Happy boy. <gasps> yep, not gonna happen. Are you crazy? <laughs> Mom. Oh my God. Okay. Hi, Storm, we just wait here while the cr oh oh look it. Looks like somebody's been biting your neck. <gasps> Finn has been fighting back. Or you've been playing, because that could be play bites. Let me see there. Is that dirt or 
Somebody bit you. I think. Oh, there we go. Success. They're like, uh oh. Right. <laughs> crap, 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 crap. Get off that. Sir, take a step. Come on. What the heck? Why are you. What? Two shoes on for one. Yes. Storm, stand. Stand. I'm pulling. Make him walk. I'm trying. Okay. All right, let's go, dudes. You guys are going to like this. Soon. Okay, so we have to lift them out, and then you could go back. Yeah, he's like, there's all the hay. So this crazy thing just happened, you guys. Do you not understand how I would feel if a strange man just came on our property and came into our building? I'm literally shaking, like. Oh God. Literally shaking, like. I don't even know, is this normal, you guys? Is this normal? I'm like not the kind of person that. Like this man walked down into our field got a soaker by jumping over all the, the mud. I looked up for mucking the stall and there's this man standing in the barn. I literally was looking for mace. Oh my God. This is not the first time this has happened. I am, that was freaky. Oh hi, I just got a soaker. He said, I just got a soaker walking through your field and I was thinking, oh my God, why are you walking through my field? All right, so I'm a city girl and I'm not used to people pulling into your driveway, like oh, no. pulling into your driver driveway, knocking on your door. Did anybody knock on the door? No. Any of that kind of stuff? But he walked all the way down to the barn, didn't knock on the door, just walked into our barn. Like maybe I just am dumb and I don't get that that's not normal. And he was a man and yeah, he was old, but man, all the things flashed in my head of all the things that you don't do. I'm like, get it! Oh God, I'm still shaking. All right, so what would we do if somebody just came into the barn and you were there by yourself? Grab I'm gonna get, get some, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get some mace. You just run out and run home as fast as you can. <laughs> Even though that guy was innocent and he just doesn't know better because he's from a different generation and yeah, I freaked out. Literally, I'm making enemies everywhere because he saw something on the property that belongs to the guy that used to live here, that used to own this place. And he came down into the barn and just walked in through the grain door. I was in the other part of the barn, walked all the way through our tax stuff, our barn stuff. And I turned around in the hallway and he was there. I was closing the door for the, for Willow and Stella. I turned around, he was standing there behind me. And where, where were you, Gabby? Just there Did you see him? Anywhere. Yeah, I saw him when I was walking out. I'm like, um. She's like, um, this is not gonna go well because my mother is a crazy woman. I just feel like Sam's not here and like in this day and age everybody should know that you don't walk into people's houses or buildings unannounced or unasked I guess but maybe farm life is a different life and what's yours is everybody's I don't know but yeah comment below what you guys would do because I reached for the mace that I didn't have Sam buy me mace I thought he wanted willow I, I literally did not know what he wanted All right, so Finn is getting, he's trying a new bit today. Um, the bit that we have for him is a D-ring French link snaffle. And um, size, five size five, and that fits Stella and Storm. And he's like just that little bit smaller. And our instructor thinks that maybe the bit isn't the right, isn't the right size for him. So before we buy a new one, we are gonna try a happy bit. Happy because mouth. a happy mouth, is that what it's called? Yeah. Um, back when we first got Storm and Sabrina maybe? Definitely we bought it for Storm, right? No, it came with Storm. No, we bought it. Storm's old bit? Yeah, no, the Happy Mouth. Came with. No, I went out and bought it. Maybe she did. She did give it to us because that's the bit that he had in when we tried it. Yeah, yeah possibly. Anyways. Yes, I remember, it's my horse. 
Anyway, we have a happy mouth or a happy bit or whatever you want to call it. And so we're going to try that sucker out and see if it works for Finn. So Gabby's going to try him in the new bit before we head out for lessons. I'm still shook about the guy coming into our barn. Even though I understand that he's Are just from a different Are generation. You in the video? Even though he's just from a different generation where people were nicer, like not like me. <laughs> oh yeah. Come I on. feel so bad Mama after I mean. Fiona and Brandon in like a group chat thingy. And so Fiona and Brandon send memes to mom. And Brandon sent the one where the people were like spraying each other in the eyes and it was with funny. mace yeah because i said i'm getting mace but anyway yeah like i should not have mace because i was in a panic and i would have just sprayed the guy and he was innocent i'm sure but just the idea that he just walked into our building like i feel like our barn especially this barn it's not like this a big open barn it's everything's closed up i don't i don't know but anyway and we have all of our stuff in there but anyway okay so back to reality so today we're going to take our horses to our new riding facility. So the barn that we're gonna be doing lessons at now, it's new, it, it, it's not as high tech as our old barn, but it's a school barn. It has school horses. It has, it's a facility geared towards kids, which I think is what we need. And yeah, like we're going there. So we're going to a new barn. I can't wait to show you guys. And there's a couple other surprises along the way. Are you guys excited to meet new kids? Yeah. Hopefully I can find me a friend. Yeah, hopefully we can find Yeah. So if he's on the out on the lookout for friends her age. So we are packing up, getting things ready. I need to get up to the house because I haven't been up there. I need to have breakfast and I need to put some supper in the oven. I need to clean up and the girls need to stay down here. He is fat. We need to put him on a diet. Um and we need to pack up, you guys, because we're going really soon. A couple hours. All right, let's try this bit so I can go up to the house. All right, Gabby is up. Let's see how he does. I need to get my phone and video this for Fiona. He's like, whoa, what is this? Do you think he likes it? He's a lot calmer, definitely. He actually fits him better than his other one. Wow, Finn. I literally noticed a difference right away. Right off the bat, he just stopped good? Oh, I don't know. No, he's just very excited. That's why he won't stand still. Remember when I hopped on storm, he wouldn't stand still? I don't know about the bit. So, Sophie is this horse's comfort. He is always so much more com confident and so much I more... I have to touch the reins there. All I have to do is breathe out and just stop. So yeah, so we're going to try this bit and see how he does. Calm with me right the yeah, he he's is. Like, Oh, my mom's here, so I can go slow. Yeah. I'm with her. All right, get off, untack, save his energy because today he's gonna ride someplace yeah, new. Awesome. Yeah, he's a pretty boy. I'm running out of time. Every day goes by so fast. And every moment counts, baby. I don't wanna miss. You know how you're just going along, going along, going along, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh my. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what's happening right now. Okay, we got helmets, we got hay times two. We got saddles and saddle pads. We have bridles. What else do we need? We need to get these blankets out of here. That's just crazy. Uh, we have halters, riding vest, girth. Do we have both girths? Yep. Uh, boots, half chaps. Let me just double check. You got Gabby's boots, Sophie's boots, Gabby's new vest. Somebody gave me a brand new trailer bag and I'm really excited for it because I love it. It'll be for Stella. But I do have that one as well. I like these two sided ones so that if they flip them. Oh, that one doesn't have the two sides. Big shout out to dad who always gets everything ready for us. We got our tack. Our tack brushes and hoof picks. Hopefully we have everything we need in there. Like this is really exciting for us because it's a whole new community for us. Like a whole new part of a community. Like it's good for my kids. It's good for us. It's good to get to know other people that ride and, and show. Like we're going to have a new show team. We're going to have like kids to show with so and I think that's really important every time I see that 
that horse, I feel happy. It's thin. Get ready for a whole new experience. Good boy! Are you Polly? How do I get around here? Oh God. It's nerve wracking. I'm like, this horse doesn't know me. Hi. I like, no, don't come in. The, the thing is above your boots. Hi. You are cute. Oh my god, okay, Polly, let's get going. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.